Hi, I'm Bonnie Roskus from 3D Vinci. In this video, I'm going to show how to use SketchUp for an important task in interior design. How to explore options for arranging furniture and accessories in a room. This is a SketchUp model of a basement renovation project. And this area here is going to be the family hangout with a couch, a TV and cabinet, a fun rug, and a couple of beanbag chairs for the kids. The placement of all of these items is room option one, but I also want to try out a different arrangement and I want both options available so that I can switch back and forth to help make the decision about how to set up the room. The first step is to create two layers, one for each room option. So I'll go to Window, Layers to open the Layers window and use the plus icon to create the two new layers. I'll call this one option one and the second layer option two. Now I'm selecting the bean bags, couch, rug, and TV, and using the Move tool with the Control key pressed or Option if you're a Mac user, and I'm copying all of these things into blank space outside the room. Back in the room, I'm using the Select tool again to select all of the objects that make up Room Option 1, and I'm using the right-click menu to open the Entity Info window. This is where you can assign objects to a layer, and all of these objects are going on the layer called Option 1. Now when I go back to the Layers window and uncheck the Visible box for Option 1, all of those pieces disappear from view. Now I can create the room arrangement for Option 2. I'm going to do everything using the Select and the Move tools. First I'll move and rotate the couch. Next I'll bring in the TV. Now comes the rug, and finally the bean bags. Now I'll select all of the items that make up room option 2 and place them on the option 2 layer. At this point, I can uncheck the visible boxes in the Layers window to switch back and forth between the two room arrangements. But this requires a lot of on and off clicking, and imagine how many clicks you'd need to check out three or even four room arrangements instead of just these two. So I'll use Scenes to make this even easier. First, I'll make sure that only Option 1 is displayed. Now I'll go to Window, Scenes to open the Scenes window. There are a lot of display properties you can save with a scene, such as hidden geometry, visible layers, shadow settings, etc. Most people use scenes to save a specific camera view, which is controlled here by the camera location option. But if you uncheck camera location, you can save a scene without locking it to a specific camera view. So with camera location unchecked, I'm clicking the plus icon to save this view as a scene. And I'm changing the default scene name to option 1. Now I'm switching the visible layer to option 2 and going back to the scenes window to save this view as a scene called option 2. Now I can close all of the many windows that are cluttering the display and use the scene tabs at the top of the SketchUp window to switch back and forth between room arrangements which can be viewed in any camera view. This technique and many others like it can be found in my book, Modeling with SketchUp for Interior Design, available at Amazon or on the 3D Vinci website. Thanks for watching.